This is the last video in this series of getting breastfeeding off to a good start and we are now on day six. So um, by now, hopefully you have navigated a lot of the big challenges that happen in the first six days. One, the most important one is making sure that you've got a good latch and that it is not painful. Um, if you have got a painful latch, hopefully by now you have been seen and had help from a lactation consultant. And one of the things that you would have done would be to assess that there is no lip or tongue tie. It goes without saying that um, ideally you should be using Silver Mama breastfeeding um, nipple cups because and use them from day one, regardless of whether you have issues or not, just because of the healing properties of silver and because they soothe and heal and prevent any things happening, uh, cracks or, or damage, even if um, unless you have a bad latch, because it cannot fix a bad latch. Um, the other thing, of course, is hopefully by now, by day six, you're kind of finding your groove, you understand your baby's sleep cues and hunger cues a little bit more. And then what's going to happen for the next week is really just trial and error of all of those things, because by now, your milk supply is not completely established, it's still establishing, but the supply and demand should be in motion you know that baby feeds at least 8 to 10 to 12 times in 24 hours you can expect that cluster feeds will happen for at least the next two weeks and um, what you might be considering doing and what I want to highlight in today's video is the storing pumping and storing of breast milk and um, everybody's opinion of course you, what works for you is important what I recommend, though, is that you don't start pumping too soon. And you want to be very clear about why you are considering pumping. If you're pumping because of undersupply or oversupply, that should only be done with the guidance of a lactation consultant. If you're pumping to go back to work, it's way too early to be doing that. And I'm going to create a video series for you, which is specifically about going back to work and breastfeeding, but it shouldn't be done within the first six weeks. Anyway, um, you might be pumping because you would like your partner to breastfeed your baby. And even then, I would recommend waiting at least four weeks before you start doing that. And if you do, you will find that the best time to pump is in the morning when you wake up and you'll notice that in the morning your breasts are really, really full. And even if you normally feed your baby from both breasts in that feed, they usually will get enough from the one because they're so full. <coughs> Excuse me. And then you can pump the other and that will usually be enough for your partner to give a bottle feed of breast milk while you get a bit of rest or you manage to do something that you haven't been able to do for a while. Um, I hope that this video series has really given you a good insight into all the little things that you need to take into account of the importance of seeing your breastfeeding journey as a relationship between your baby and of accepting that a lot of it is trial and error and really working with the changes that happen literally so quickly, literally on a 24-hour basis to take one feed at a time to recognize that you're going to be feeding your baby many 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 hundreds of thousands of times over the next couple of weeks months depending on course on what your breastfeeding goals are and if your breastfeeding goal is to reach six weeks then um, it's not going to be an easy six weeks so hang in there because the chances are very high that if you get to six weeks then the next three months will be incredibly easy and the next three months after that will be even easier the first two weeks are really the most challenging and the first or let me say the first six weeks are the most challenging so if you get the right support and help and guidance and assistance and information in those first six weeks it really will be a breeze going forward and the challenges definitely minimize and they change but if you manage these ones then you'll have such a deep understanding of your baby that will be much easier to face the challenges that come after those first six weeks. I hope to see you in our WhatsApp support group. Um, it's a place where the mamas come. They are able to share their experiences and I come in there regularly to answer the questions. Very often I will give video guidance um, 
and support right there in the WhatsApp group. And of course, the longer videos and the more resources are available in my breastfeeding course or any other one of the other courses that I've got available for you in the due date club. I really look forward to getting to know you and guiding, assisting you on your pregnancy and breastfeeding journey.